to kill a DJ, me do them partial Some of them got the credentials, now when they come Hey guys, how's it going? It is Jared HD here and welcome back to episode number 27 of my FIFA 14 Newcastle United career mode series. We're going to kick off the episode with an international friendly. We are in charge of Australia. Our second match with Australia up against Uruguay this time. Uh, they do have a very nice side. They do have Cavani, in, uh, a striker. Uh, Muslera, the Galatasaray keeper, uh, in goals. Uh, but hopefully that doesn't phase us as our... Uh, Gusla, I can't even pronounce his name. Uh, he makes a save there, the uh, Galatasaray keeper. Uh, but Williams, he's going to cross it in to Devere. Devere's going to get a header on it, and he gets it past the keeper, Muslera, in the 26th minute to give us a 1 0 advantage. Very, very nice stuff there from uh, the lads. But uh, it's going to be Gonzalez right now in the 68th minute. He's going to be on the ball uh, for Uruguay. He's going to get past some pretty crappy defending. He's going to pass it to Gargano and Walter Gargano. Gets it past Matt Ryan, uh, I think it was, or it could have been Mitch Langerak, uh, to give Uruguay, we'll make it a one on scoreline in the 70th minute. Uh, but we're going to push on now. It's going to be Gamero passing it to Williams. He's going to get tackled by Perez. Perez passes it to Gugano. Um, Musafa Amini makes a, a tackle there on Gugano. He's going to play it through to Williams. Williams is going to have a dig. A good save there. And uh, Amini almost gets it into the back of the net. Unfortunately, he doesn't. And on the stroke of full time, in stoppage time, Gamero gets tackled. It's going to go to Williams. Williams is going to be on the ball. He's going to whip it in to Holman. Holman with a header opportunity. And Brett Holman misses an easy header opportunity opportunity uh, to make the match and and it ends a one all draw against Uruguay very very nice stuff uh, Uruguay are a nice side uh, but the, se the second match of the episode is now a Premier League fixture against Manchester City at the Etihad Stadium uh, heading into the match Man City sitting in first position and we are three points behind them in fifth uh, so victory here could put us all the way up to first position uh, which would be very, very nice, but it all depends on results. Uh, so, there's not many hearts in this game, to be honest, uh, but the first one is Negredo. He's on the ball in the 45th minute. Uh, he's going to get tackled there from Taylor. Taylor's going to pass it straight back out to James Milner. It's going to go to Negredo again. Negredo's going to pass it to Meza Ertzil, and he gets it past Mignolet uh, somehow in the 45th minute, and the real-life Arsenal man uh, playing for Man City in this game gets it past Mignolet. Very, very disappointing stuff. Uh, we should have done better in defence. Uh, just look, we, we gave him so much uh, free space, uh, and I don't know what Yang and Biwa was doing there when he was trying to mark Ertzul, but oh well, I ain't even mad. Uh, but in the 87th minute, it's going to be uh, Bridgie Amana. I told you there was no highlights, guys, really. Uh, but Olijon, he's going to cut back in the center of the pitch. He's going to smash it past Joe Hart to make it a one or scoreline late on this match in the 89th minute. Uh, and that was a very, very valuable goal as we go on to draw the match one all with Manchester City. Uh, it was a pretty boring match beside those two highlights, really. Uh, so yeah, we're going to push on now, getting a scout report from Australia, we're going to decline a few players, uh, we're going to keep, uh, we're going to decline Tommy Frederich, and we're going to scout the rest of the players, and the final match of the episode guys, is a home match in the Premier League against West Ham, uh, the Hammers. Uh, it's going to be at St. James's Park, and it should be an interesting matchup. Uh, heading on into the match, guys, we are sitting in 5th position on 27 points. Uh, so, hopefully we can get 3 valuable competition points in this matchup. Uh, right now, Tompkins, he's going to kick it into Andy Carroll. Uh, it's going to go to Matweedy. Matweedy's going to get to Stuart Downing. Downing's going to take a shot, and he gets the rebound and goal there in the 19th minute. A very, very terrible start from the lads, I must admit. Uh, definitely a shock result to start off with this matchup. Expected to be dominating uh, West Ham. Uh, but nevertheless, Karim Fry, he's going to cross it into Lukaku. Lukaku gets ahead to it, into the bottom right-hand corner of the net to make it a one or scoreline in the 22nd minute. Uh, a quick fire goal there from Lukaku. Very, very nice stuff. Uh, but it's going to be Lukaku yet again on the ball. He's going to get past the defense of West Ham. He's going to cut back into the center of the pitch. He's going to have lots of free space, and that's what happens when you give Lukaku free space. He's going to punish you. If you look at that, uh, the West Ham defense just backs off of Lukaku for a second, uh, and he capitalizes on the uh, free area that he has. Uh, but Danny Welbeck, he's on the ball right now. He's going to get tackled. Uh, there's going to be a lot of deflections, but it's going to end back up at his feet. 
He's going to take a shot to the left-hand side. And what a sexy goal that was from Danny Wilbeck. Uh, very, very classy goal there. Just slotted it calmly past uh, the West Ham keeper when he was under a lot of pressure. Uh, but it's going to be Yanaze right now. He's going to pass it to Matuidi. Matuidi's going to play it through to Lukaku. Lukaku finesses it around the West Ham keeper to give us a 4-1 advantage. So the floodgates, they have opened. And when it rains, it pours. Guys, that is a class showing from the lads. Lukaku picks up his hat trick there, and a very, very nice showing. Uh, so we defeat West Ham United four goals to one, and that's how we're going to end off the episode, guys. So, guys, it's been Jared HD here with episode number 27 of the Newcastle United FIFA 14 career mode series. If you enjoyed the episode, make sure you leave a like. Make sure you subscribe for more FIFA 14 career mode content. And most importantly, have an awesome day. I'll speak to you tomorrow. It's been Jared HD here. I'm out. Peace.